Are you ready? Ha! Because it's time to penetrate the internet. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid rankings of Corbin. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, one Tuesday content. Thank you, our Patreon, follow us account, subscribe, one of the like most button. One of the most interesting things about me as a lover, I can penetrate with my neck. Nice. And today we are doing our top ten films of 2022. If you saw the OSR awards, if those came out first, if not, they're coming or they're already here. I don't know. Uh, it's one of the I'm dummies are here somewhere. Dummies are here. And that one was, we are treating it like the Oscars. This is our personal favorites. We're going to have two top ten lists of our favorites of the year. Yeah. Um, so Our the, personal faves personal for faves, personal reasons. Uh, not the most artistic, not the best. Not necessarily. Uh, or it could, though. Could still. be. Um, but, uh, and so if you saw the, it might be similar, it might not be. You'll see new stuff. You might not see new stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen his list. Yeah, I haven't um, seen his list. But uh, this will be our top ten faves of the year. Yeah. From all over India. Yeah. Um, and so... And you clarified this, but just for double clarification, because if you've been around, you know we cover... Like the dummies, it's every film we saw in that calendar year versus this. It's only 2022. It's just films that were released in 2022. Yes. Streaming or theatrical. Yes. So... Uh, Give us your top 10 this year of Indian films down in the comments below and let us know why we're a bunch of morons. Especially if it's one we didn't see. Yes, because I know there were some that yeah. we did not see. Yeah. Um, so, Speaking of which, I heard, I read in the Times of India, the Love movie is Lo doing really well. The, uh, Love Play, the one with the phones. Oh, where yeah, they switch yeah. their phones. I've yeah. heard it's doing really well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is doing really well. Uh, I, I think I said that. And you just don't listen. Rick, God damn it! What? <laughs> so, ten, do you want to say at the same time? Because uh, we're going to go ten to well, number one. Our favorite. No, you just because because I doubt we're going to slot them in the same place. Yeah. So you just say yours first. That's your number right. ten. What is your number ten? Okay, my number ten is this might surprise you that it's as low on the list, but it's Vikram. Oh wow! Yeah. Nice. But it's in my top ten. Yes. I, I, How could it not be? No complaints there. Yeah. Uh, Vikram is an absolutely amazing film. Um, but my ten mm -hmm. might surprise some of you. Might not. Jaishai Jodar. Oh. Yes. Like I said, nice. this is my personal favorites of the year. I loved that film. I thought it was such an nice. enjoyable film. It is. Uh, it didn't make any of the OSR awards. Right. But in terms of my personal favorites, the Hindi film of Jai Shiv Jodhbar starring Ranveer, even though I'm, I know it I, was agree. A, I know it was a flop, I love that film. I, I, thought it was absolutely I enjoyed amazing. that film too. And this is where so much of this has to come into the subjectivity of so many reasons. We've mentioned Greece as a regular favorite of people forever, one of the greatest movies ever. It didn't, should have never won an award, and it didn't. And it really has to do with where you were at the time, what's going on in your life, so many factors that go into it. But that there were a couple of head scratchers this year as to why more people didn't like it. That was definitely one of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your number nine? This may surprise you that it's as low as it is. PS1. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. That is really low. Still loved it. Yeah. These are All of these were loved. Part of it is, for me how quickly I want to watch it again and watch it over and over. That's a big, for my favorites, the criteria of do I want to watch it again with other people and how many times do I want to watch it over and over and over again? Do I want to just live in that movie? Mm -hmm. PS1, is like Vikram, is one of those movies that I like to see spaced out and yeah. forget some of the aspects of it and then go back in and be just blown away again by how much I enjoyed it. Agree. Yeah. Number nine for me is Cantata. Cantata was a great movie! The Canada film. Yeah. Uh, once again, I, I just can't rave enough about the last 20 minutes, even though, like I said, it wasn't the only part of the film I liked. Yeah. I, and I did have issues with the film as a whole, but in terms of... Would I watch it again? Hell yeah, especially for the last 20 minutes of that film, just because I think it was so meritorious and so entertaining and yeah. engaging. Um, yeah, so that, yeah. That, that's, that is why it was there. Yeah. So uh, there's, you, there's, there's a film of mine that I'll get to in a minute 
Well, all of these, obviously, because as much as I liked it, the fact that it didn't live up to the superlatives that most were giving it, it was still one of my favorite films of the year. Understand. It just wasn't in my top ten. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. What is your number eight? Love Hostel. It's a great movie. Yeah. Really enjoyed that movie. And would happily go back and watch that one again. My number eight is Vikram. A little higher up on the list. A little higher than yours. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to give some honorable mentions at after two. Um, yeah, before we hit the number one. Because there's a bunch that I wanted to put in, but yeah. since we were only doing ten. Right. Um, but, yeah, there's probably... Yeah, like, Kantaro would be number 11 for me. There's probably... 50, Seriously. There's probably, like, 15 films in my top ten yeah. uh, this year. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, Vikram was absolutely entertaining. It was fun. Uh, in just a fafa watching... Um, um, just a blast. Kamal, watching the score. VJ uh, in that film was just all so, so fun, and I and really enjoyed it. Argentina. In Argentina. Yeah. Who is your number seven? My number seven is Badai Do. Very nice. Yeah. I really, not only was I engaged and entertained the whole time, but that message and his moment on the rooftop, it's beautiful. That's one of the few films this year, and I cry, but that's one of the few that made me cry. But I do. What was the other one? You cried in Lao Sing Chata, didn't you? Lao Sing Chata made me cry. Uh, Number seven for me is Maya Lankanju. You're right. That's your number seven. That is number seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Is Fafa at his best. Uh, He's absolutely amazing in that film. That film is really, really well done. Really enjoyed that Such film. Such a great film. Maliadam. Um, and yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed that film. Uh, yeah. I, I will. I mean, you, you guys know my love affair with Fafa. Yeah. Um, so hold on. How What would you say yours was? Oh, your my f- number seven? No, 10 through seven. It was Vikram was 10. PS1 was nine. Love Hostel was eight. And Badai Do was seven. So you have two Tamils and two Hindis so far. Yeah. So not too much Bollywood boot looking yet. No. In fact... In fact, in my top 10, don't give it away yet, because uh, I currently have a one Hindi, one Kannada, one Tamil, and one Malayalam. I, I can tell you, half of my top 10 is not Hindi. Oh, wow. But yeah. the other half is, because he's a Bollywood bootlicker. Yep. <laughs> 50% <laughs> of the time, I need to be licking the boots. And number six for you. My number six is Brahmastra. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That Talk about th- Wait a minute, I gotta... Hold on. What's your number six? The Last Film Show. You haven't mentioned Brahmastra yet. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we reviewed the film? Uh-huh. Is you it, you this, loved it, I liked the, it, yeah. Is it not even in your top ten? It, it is not. Wow! <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, there's no way it's on my list before yours. No. Yeah, it's but it didn't make your top ten. It's an honorable mention. Wow. Uh, I no, I like I I really enjoy that. I just had it. But I, you chose it for a dummy for like score and visual effects. No, it didn't win the score. It got yeah. nominated for the score. Okay, but it won VFX. Okay, which is my favorite part of the okay. that film. Yeah, that's understandable. I, I, it's wow. an entertaining yeah. film, but I had a problem with the writing. Of yeah, that film. I know you did. I know you. Uh, did. So that's why I okay. didn't make the list. No, that makes sense. Uh, but my number six is the last film show. Okay, that yeah. Like I said, it made me tear up for the... Uh, I'm actually shocked it's that low. Yeah, it made me tear up in the end. Um, I'm not going to give it away if you haven't seen it. Please go watch Yeah, the please last watch film the last show. film show. Um, but it made me tear up in the end um, for a specific reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, I think everything that, that was a really good film and I would watch it again. And I think it was a yeah. really interesting film. So yeah. You're number five. Number five. This won't surprise you that it's in my top five of the year. So my top five starts with Lal Singh Chada. Oh, wow. Yeah, I loved that movie. That's actually a hot take for what it did this year. Yeah. Because I know, like, obviously we enjoyed that film, obviously, yeah. and I think you really, really enjoyed I that love film. Lulsing I love Lulsing. And I I did as well. Um, but, like, it was not <laughs> loved at the box office. <laughs> but that's office. a problem. I, I remember- or even by, like, a lot of people that, like, they just didn't like it, even, like, the ones that don't focus on the box office. But I, I saw a lot of people mentioning the fact that they didn't understand where the hatred was because they really liked it. Yeah. So I just, I, think, I thought, I, I, I thought Atul Kulkarni's script was fantastic. Yeah. I loved the originality that 
Amir brought to the character to make it his own. I loved the score, which was so important because Forrest Gump is so important. And I loved how it made it original and took what's so endearing about the American version and made it Indian. So yeah. I, I just, I love that movie. Yeah. Yep. Uh, really good film. Uh, I think remakes just were doomed to fail this year. They were. Every, every single one I was think doomed so. to fail. Uh, my number five mm. is PS1. Okay. So a little higher than yours. Yeah. And again, for me, it's just the watchability. Yeah. I can I can watch Lao Sing Chata weekly. I get it. PS1, I need to break from and then come back. It's so epic and massive. I get it. Yeah. Uh, really enjoyed that film. There was only like one aspect of that film that I didn't love, and it was like one actor. Mm. Um, but yeah, that film was so well done, but also so enjoyable. Uh, can't wait for the second one. Yeah, very excited yeah, very, for the very second excited one. excited for the second part. Number four is for me Mali and Kuju. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. I uh, didn't know if that would make your list. It did. It it did not just for watchability, but for if anybody was asking me, what is a great film that's a small film, film festival feel, but it doesn't come from Bollywood, mm -hmm. it would be one of the a recent film. It would be way up at the top of my list. And I, and I wouldn't just recommend it. I'd want to watch it with them to see the reaction to how good that movie is. Yeah. Uh a great film it's not just a movie it's a film i agree yeah um my number four is i can't say it it's topeka's film oh whoa say that for me say say the name for me girayon yeah yeah that is number number four, four. i i think it's been forgotten that film wow. because it came out i think in february or something like that right it was really yeah. early right um and it I received, didn't like it that much. I did. I it stuck with me all year, and wow. her performance did the entire. I think the it was such an underrated film. I don't know why it got such mixed reviews. I, mean, I, I agree. I like. I just. I didn't understand it. Yeah. But it, that film stuck with me this year. I I, yeah. I I loved that film. Wow. Um. And I don't think it got enough praise. I year. agree with that. Um. So, I agree with that. Yeah. Sorry. A shocker yeah. at four. That is a shocker. It's not even in my top ten. Even though I really liked it. Wow. Why yeah. do you hate Topeka? Yeah. Is it because you wore orange? It's, she wore orange wow. in that. Yeah. If damn. she hadn't worn orange, I probably would have liked it a lot God more. damn it. What's your number three? Last film show. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I just, it, it really lived up to the hype. It, it, it's, um, I, what else can I say? Yeah. I, I just, I love that movie. I'd watch it again. There's other people. Again, it's another one. If someone said, what's a film that's not from Bollywood? <laughs> That's a recent film that'll make me want to watch it. It should go to Cannes Film Festival, things like that. I'd say, whoosh. those are the two right there. The Fafa movie and Last Film Show, man. And Last Film Show does get a notch above from me. Can't help it. It's about movies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My number three, KGF. No, sorry. Uh... <laughs> man. Nope. Not that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... My number three is But I Do. Yeah. That film, I think it just, it came out really early. And I think once again, I think people have forgotten how good that film was. Agreed. And like they're saying like Bollywood had such a down, like that film was incredible. And that film made me tear up. Yeah. Uh, that, it was beautiful movie. such a brilliant combination of just entertainment and powerful messaging um, in that film. And it was just so, so well done. And too, too, too often and too sadly comedies and rom-coms are not taken as seriously as the other films mm -hmm. and they that's a that's a shame it's a shame uh once again these are our favorites i know people probably skipped and they're here now to be mad but these are our favorites the awards our personal favorites you can go to the awards uh to see the other ones what is your number two kala kala yeah nice yeah like you said during the dummies, it's pretty much a perfect film at every level of the discipline. Movie making doesn't get any better than that. It, it it is. There's only you'll you'll know what my number one is by the fact that I've <laughs> chose Kala as my number two, and that's what it takes to knock Kala off the number one. It has to be something that's monumental 
in the whole spectrum of international cinema for decades. It's yeah. got to be that level to surpass Gala. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Mine number two is R R R. Just like the dummies. This I isn't a shock. Wonder what I wonder the ones what the are. Are. Yeah, I wonder. But the Telugu film. So currently, I have uh, a Telugu, so. a Hindi, Hindi, Tamil, Gujarati, Malayalam, Tamil, Kannada, and Hindi. Yeah. Uh, so still more. Have, I think we have pretty much the same films in our top ten. Top ten, except for I. I, you I don't put Brahmastra. Yeah, I put Brahmastra and Lao Singh Chada. Yeah, and I put. Uh, you put the Depika film. Depika film and Cantara. And Cantara, right? But the special mentions are going to go to for me. You can tell me your other special mentions are Gargi. Yeah. Love Hostel. Yeah. Thar. Vikram. Did not make my top ten, and I was sad about it. Uh, I just yeah, that's I kept, interesting. I kept trying to find a place to put it, right? But then I'd have to knock something, knock something out, off, and I'm like, mm. but I, I absolutely could be in my like I said, there's 15 films about in my top ten, and Vikram is absolutely one of them. I'm not going to argue with anybody that says one of their it's their favorite film of the year. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, the Booth Akalam. With mm-hmm. the Malayalam horror film of the year, and then the Last Farmer were all special. Those interests. three: the Last Farmer, the the uh, the horror film, and uh, you you had said it. Gargi, Love Hostel, Thar, Vikram, but Thar and yeah. Gargi. Yeah, Thar and Gargi. Those are my my special moments. But I got here's the question I need to ask. So if you're told for the rest of your life you can only watch one film. And never watch the other one ever again. Mm-hmm. You choose Kala over RRR. Kala is my favorite film of the year. <laughs> wow. I, t- I, like, I, I think I said it in the review. Yeah. It is my favorite film of the year. I, I was encapsulated the entire time. RRR is brilliant. And I get it. It's probably the more entertaining film. But it's still Kala. It's just at every level. It was entertaining for me just in an obviously very different way why do you hate ss roger Mulley? i know i'm sorry <laughs> uh and i i get the argument that obviously just R-R- admit it's because it's hindi <laughs> probably yeah probably they you paid know, him to bollywood bootlegger. paid him in cocaine boots um but yeah it, yeah i i could never as much as i love kala and i'd be so sad i get it for natu natu alone and dosti and watching them run with him on his shoulders <laughs> and the epic reveal of them in the forest. I get it. I just could not in a million years part with RRR. I get it. <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue. Uh, <laughs> not going to argue. It's my number two. I could argue it yeah, for number your one. Your number two is poopy dookie. That's what your number two is. Um, so I think I had one, two, three, four Hindi and three... No. Yeah, that would be correct. No. Six regionals, even though I know Hindi's regional, depending on where you live. Yeah, that's right. Um, so uh, not Bollywood. So those are our favorites this year. Uh, so those are the 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 ten best films of, the, of our favorites, of our our personal favorites uh, of the year for Indian cinema. Uh, it was actually, I think, a really good year. Did you have a personal favorite performance? Because we talked about who we think should get the dummies for those things. Is that would you say that whoever you chose for that is definitely your your favorite performance? Yeah, all yeah. those would be like because I have to think of those critically. Yeah, I gotta say, though, I gave Reka supporting. That wasn't this year. Mm, who would so, you give? Who would you give? Radhika Apte. For the amount of screen time she had and what l- little, yeah, what little she had to do. The two supporting roles that were so small, but I'll never forget are Radhika and Vijay Raz. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let us know what your top 10 of the year are, why we're stupid, why you agree, why we're just good. The channel is just going downhell. Let us know. <laughs> 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 Josh!